This is tutorial number 27, and it covers how to use a circular pattern feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now to start off, what we're going to do is just sketch a circle. So let's click the center point circle, and let's sketch it out. Now click the dimensioning tool, and let's dimension the diameter of this circle to 100 millimeters. And we'll zoom out a little bit. Now click return, click extrude, and we're going to extrude the circle out 10 millimeters. Click OK. And if you look on the side, we've made a circular disk. Now with the circular pattern feature, what you have to do is first create a feature, either a cut or an extrude, and then from that, we're able to use an axis along the circle to revolve that feature around and pattern it. So to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to make a feature. So let's say that we want to make a gear out of this circle. So we're going to cut out the first tooth or the first notch of the gear. So click the front face, click sketch, and let's just, with the line tool, sketch a little triangle that's going to cut out the first tooth. So we've sketched our triangle. Now let's click return, click extrude, and we'll select the triangle that we just drew. We'll cut it out, click OK, and now we've made the first tooth of our gear. Now using this first tooth that we cut out, what we have to do is use a circular pattern to create it all the way around. So let's get the circular pattern feature. Let's click it. Now the first thing you have to do is click the feature and it's extrusion 2, so let's click that. And the second one is to choose the rotation axis. So the rotation axis we're looking for is going to be the axis that goes through the middle of the circle. Now if we open up the origin, we can see the different axes. There's the X, the Y, and the Z. The one that we're going to need to use is the Z, so let's click it. And you can see a preview of the cut going. Now let's change the instances, let's make it 20, and it goes almost all the way around, and we like what we see, so let's click OK. And now we've cut out our gear. And you can move it around and you can see our gear. Now let's say that you want to change the shape. Say you don't want to cut it out as a gear, maybe you want to make it as a half moon or like a circle. So let's open up Extrusion 2, right click the sketch, click Edit Sketch, and let's delete this triangle that we made. Now let's say we want to make a curve cut. So we'll use the three-point arc. We'll make one point here, one point here, and then we'll drag this in to cut out a notch. And we're going to have to close this sketch with a line right across, click update, and now we've cut it out with a different shape and that shape that we changed on the first feature changes on all the other circular patterns. 